Hi everyone, it's Lee here at Gnome and Backyard. Hope you're having a great day. If you've seen any of my videos or know anything about me, then you know that I love to take um, ordinary everyday objects and see how we can transform them, give them what I like to call a gnome over. And I also love the beach and beach themes. So what we're gonna take today is we are going to take this soap dispenser from the Dollar Tree and we are going to take this adorable mermaid tail from the Dollar Tree and it's a real pretty, this one is a real pretty pastel pink color. It's almost the same color as my shirt. Very, very pretty. They did also have them in white and I wanna say like a gray color, but I thought this would be fun for a change. So first thing we're gonna do, take the lid off of our soap dispenser. And I am just going to flip it upside down and use this as the base. Again, you don't have to use these exact items, but I like to give you ideas. You could switch the uh, crafting supplies in and out as you see fit. So all I did was I did have some pink fur. Again, this is a really light, light pink fur. I don't use my pink fur all the time, but for this one, I thought this would be really, really cute. Really sweet um, if you have a, a little girl, a little granddaughter maybe in her room. I just think this would look really cute. So I already cut my fur into a triangle and I am just going to run a bead of hot glue across the very top. And I am just going to wrap it right around the top of my upside down soap dispenser. If you want your beard to be longer, just cut a bigger triangle. This one fits this cup pretty well. If you want it to be shorter, just cut a shorter triangle. But always remember to cut your fur on the back side, not the furry side, but the back side, and use a straight blade. Put something underneath you, cut it with a straight blade, pull it apart, and then you get these cute little wispies. All right, the next thing we are going to do, this is so easy and so quick, I am going to take my E6000, and I'm going to have to be careful because this won't set uh, right away, but I'm going to take my E6000, run it around the top of my uh, gnome body, we'll say. And then you know what I'll do? I will put a little bit of hot glue to help it maybe set for us so we could finish the, the craft without it sliding around. Okay, and I am just going to set that right, right on top. Okay, so how cute is this? Our gnome has a uh, mermaid tail. I said whale tail, mermaid tail as a hat. Isn't that? like the cutest. Now, to get rid of this little separation that you see here, where I could have put my beard up a little higher, we are going to take some, I think this is like a nautical, sort of a nautical theme ribbon here. Um, I think this would look really cute. And we're gonna put it right around the top of our beard and the bottom of our whale tail hat. This time I'm just going to put the hot glue right on my ribbon so that I'll just pick it up and put it right on the, the gnome. I might have cut a little too much. I might have to cut off a little bit of excess here. Yep, just a little. This is so cute. Actually, there. Oh, 
This is just so cute, you guys. Look at that. I am loving it. And now you know what the best part is for me anyway. I didn't decide whether I wanted to use a little wooden bead. And these wooden beads are, uh, they're called furniture buttons. I did buy them at Hobby Lobby. There's 30 pieces in a pack for $2.49. And these are the 3 8 inch. You could use any size. You could use a bigger one. You could use a smaller one. I didn't decide whether I wanted to use a wooden button, which I do think would look, that looks really cute. Or I found this little seashell in my seashell collection. And I thought maybe for a change, I've never used a seashell as a nose, but oh, I think I have to go with the seashell for this one. All right. I'm gonna try this. I never used a seashell before, so hopefully my hot glue is just gonna work on this. Now let's see, which way do we wanna put it? Straight up and down or sideways? <laughs> okay, you guys, how cute. How absolutely cute is this guy? And I am liking the little seashell for a nose. Oh, I'm loving it. Okay, one last thing. One last touch here. I had some starfish, baby starfish. I've had these for years. And I'm just going to glue a little starfish to his hat. And I think that will complete our, let's see, where do we want to put it? Okay, you guys. I am just absolutely loving this little guy. And I'll post a picture at the end of the video so you could really see the colors a lot better. But real pale pink beard, pale pink um, mermaid tail hat. And it's, it's really, he's really, really looking sweet. All right, I hope you enjoyed this quick video. Hope you get the chance to make one. If you're a gnome lover like I am, and if you love the sea like I do, uh, this would be a really cute addition to your home decor. Thank you so much for continuing to support and sprinkle all of our videos here at Gnome and Backyard, and have a great day.